Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can remove your TPMS sensor by yourself at home. So I'm using this tool to break the bead. Um, there is another video, I'm going to leave it in the description, the link below, where you can get this tool and how to use it and how you can break the bead on the tire. But on this particular one, I just want to focus on how you can remove this without removing the entire stem and only uh, the TPMS sensor. So many of you, if you're watching this video, most likely you probably bought another set of tires and all you wanna do is just having that sensor removed from the tire and install it in your new rim and you probably wanna get rid of the old ones and you don't wanna end up spending a lot of money in uh, paying somebody to do this job and you can do this at home. So uh, as long as you can use any method to break the bead, you know, then it's just a matter of uh, getting access to the sensor. Uh, now for removing the sensor you don't really have to remove the entire tire from the rim you know that's that's a that's a painstaking process you know you can use leverage and stuff like that and remove the thing but it's, it's not really worth it right so these are the rims from my ford f-150 and uh, i just bought another set of rims and i'm i just want to get access to the sensors you know these sensors are fairly new so i am not worried about you know batteries and things like that you know it's a fairly new truck so i know they're gonna last me a while and uh buying new sensors is gonna cost me another 70 80 bucks you know so why why not just try it out so i just want to make this video i already removed it from my other tires and i just i'm recording this you know the best method that i came across in removing these uh sensors so you're gonna need a couple of tools you know before you do this and and the very first thing of course you have to break the bead uh, so again check out the video below how to use this tool to break the bead um, and then once you have access to this you know you may want to get yourself a long piece of wood or something to pry and i'll show you what needs to be done um, then of course you need uh, a small ratchet like this and uh, what i'm using over here is a seven millimeter socket and uh, this is the hex size you know for the screw on the sensor so let me show you guys another sensor right here so this is this is a sensor and of course you can see my hand gloves are ripped so i need to change these but i just want to show you guys you know uh these are mounted like this and uh, and what you need to do is uh kind of unscrew this to get the sensor out and and this is the correct size so a lot of people use allen keys and things like that none of that is gonna work guys you know this is number 10 hex you can pick this up you know for a dollar from harbor freights or any other two you know places you know home depot may have it ace hardware may have it so just get yourself a number 10 um you know hex and uh this will make your life a lot easier this thing fits in here perfectly and uh then you can just uh, set this to open and uh, now we'll get to work and i'll show you guys how it's done so um uh, what you need to do with this log is kind of press on this and this will give you a little bit of leverage to get in the tire itself you know and and this will this may slip out but you know the good thing is you have another lip you know that'll save you in case uh so you won't get injured and things like that uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of step on this and i'm going to step on this side so kind of push the tire backwards well inside you know so i can get a little bit room for me to work uh, work over there so um let's get to work and uh, trust me this works you know uh now safety wise you know don't wear slippers like this you know uh, i know i'm wearing it you know but i just want you guys to wear some kind of shoes and things like that you know especially if you haven't done this um so you just have to be safe out there before you're doing this um so let me just step on it Oops, see one of the mistakes I did was I was holding the thing on here and it fell in there. Now it's just a matter of me finding it. Luckily I have a magnetic uh, thing that I can go and grab, a magnetic tool. I can uh, try to go in there and try to look for it. It's gonna be impossible for me to look for it. Of course I need to make sure it is magnetic and this is another one and I know that it is so. Let's keep looking for it. Of course, I cannot accomplish this job without it. So that's a shame that I was being very careful in the rest of the tires and in this tire, I just uh, 
didn't pay much attention and lost it. So, good luck finding it now. So another thing I'm going to do is just kind of roll this so the tire, it's here somewhere, I guess closer. It makes it easier for me to find it. no luck yet but I'm not gonna give up so let's see if I can hear it on the other side and it came out so as you can see when I roll the tire it just kind of came out from here and fell outside so that's another technique you can use that I just learned all right so now let's get to work step on this now be careful, you don't drop it. And uh, what you want to do here? move this so you can get a little bit more room and now just stick this in here grab your sensor and turn it so you can break not really break but the, the screw you know so you can loosen it up <clears throat> now it's a little bit loose and now you can just grab this tool and just kind of turn it with your hand and just be careful that you don't drop this tool again and just unscrew it now you can see it coming loose And uh, there you go. And uh, same thing, the sensor, you want to be careful that you don't drop it. Just like you can see, I almost dropped it, but luckily it did not go inside. And now I have my sensor. So now if you have to install a new sensor in here, you can just stick the new one in, install it, or you can just use this one. And this particular tire, since I'm selling it, I'm not going to put any of the sensors in there. I can just use this as a open knob, you know, so I don't really have to replace this or anything so i'm good to go so guys that's it i just wanted to show you guys how you can replace uh, the tpms sensor on your tires easily thanks for watching please subscribe and like